And then the whole, it was like a, it was like a train. There was like eight people then like conversing and be like, yeah, it totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. and, it was, and this one guy was like, I didn't even know we had a third option. And yeah. they were like, no, you should, you should listen to Alex. It makes all sense. And, and they were like, oh, wow. It, it's like, you don't even know the kind of people that really get this. Everyone is getting this. It's a total transformation. Certain, That's what they're afraid of. Exactly. There's certain things that are kind of core. This whole week, for instance, uh, NPR has been doing a PR campaign. <laughs> and I guess it's National Public Relations Radio for the government has been doing a campaign about Common Core, trying to tell people how wonderful, how advanced it is, how it's not actually a curriculum. But at the same time, today, one of the news articles is how the uh, governor of Oklahoma has said, we're not going to do Common Core anymore. And you've got people on both the left and the right. You've got people who are outside of the education establishment who don't like it, like me. I don't like governments running schools. I think that's a bad idea inherently. But then you've got people who are very much believe in that system that are inside of it. And they're both revolting against this common core curriculum. And you've got people who are understanding that we can't have any freedoms to debate some of the th other things that we do have genuine disagreements over if we live in a police surveillance state. If we have no rights, if we, you know, if, if if this whole thing isn't rolled back. So there are some core things that the left and the right have to agree on that we have to get back to before we can, you know, we, we can't let them subdivide us on these and these other issues that although they are important, we will not have the freedom to discuss those issues if we live in a police state, if we have a, the government controlling everything about our health care. Well, it's almost like when the government does really, really bad things, it unifies everyone and it's advantageous to us. Mm -hmm. It's like the worst things they do, the more they overall lose support and we come together, which is their worst nightmare. Mm -hmm. And they think they can use divide and conquer. But when something like Obamacare comes out or something like Common Core or, or any of these things or the GMO issue or whatever, we are united in such a way that it doesn't even matter if we have some differing of opinions on slight issues. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. All these issues are coming together and they're having this massive effect where everyone can see in the middle. You know, it's like left, right, garbage. In the middle, we're all coming together and saying, well, it doesn't even matter. You know, if we can agree that Common Core is terrible, if we can agree that genetically modifying the entire food supply is probably not a good idea, you know, if we can agree that Obamacare is not free, it's a total failure written by the insurance companies, which pretty much everyone I've talked to agrees with. Anyone that actually, mm -hmm. you know, besides the people that don't even know what you're talking about and just say, oh, I don't know about that, the totally delusional people that can never really be helped, everyone is in agreement, And that is the ultimate culmination. And going back to what you were saying, the ultimate not even crisis, the ultimate turning point and the ultimate transformation that will supersede any world wars that have happened before it because it will be an ideological transformation. Yes. Just like yeah. how we won World War II, well, we won the war, but our ideological transformation was for the worse over time because we became decadent, fat, happy, and dumb. Yes. You know, yes. now we're actually going to have lasting change through an intellectual revolution by winning the information war. Yes. And that the is the I only way to have success or else we will be like Rome, we will be like the United States has become. The way I look at World War II, for instance, is the way the Asymmetric Warfare Center looks at these other conflicts that we've had since then, where they would go in and they would have a tremendous military victory. But they couldn't hold the area because they get, couldn't get the minds and hearts and minds of the people that they had invaded or whatever. I think what happened was we won a physical war with World War II. But as far as the principles, as far as the ideas of eugenics, of total control, consolidation, and, and what the bankers were doing, essentially, we have lost that. And now that we're in an information age, hopefully, hopefully this information war will help us to prevail in the in the information age. And hopefully we can do this as an information war. But the most important thing is who wins the hearts and minds of people. So regardless of whether there's a physical war or not, the info war is still going to be the ultimate high ground. And the way to, whether there's a victory. Absolutely. And the way to do that is to get out there to spread the information and also support key operations like InfoWars. And that is why we have the InfoWars Life products like Survival Shield X2, the new almost double strength Survival Shield, which is the same price as the old Survival Shield. We kept the same price. We enhanced the formula. We're going to talk to Dr. Group specifically, not on that, just health issues, but he can explain 7,000 to 10,000 feet below the Earth's surface. We take it from a salt solution that is around 200 million years old and take these super fine purple iodine crystals from that and create Survival Shield X2. And that is below Fukushima's devastating effects. That is, we are testing all of it for radiation before we get it out. And it is on sale right now for the same price as Survival Shield. 
almost double strength at InfoWarsLife.com. You're supporting the operation. You're supporting all of this and getting the word out and helping people, even the trendies, wake up. That's great. And we're going to be talking to Dr. Group as soon as we come back. Stay with us. How long would you last if all grocery stores cease to exist? Not in America. This can't happen in America. What causes my concern about our government? I was looking at survival stuff. I was raised as a Girl Scout, and their motto was to be prepared. Food for Patriots was an opportunity for me to be able to put some things aside. I said, well, this is a product worth having, seeing as it's so good. Like the pricing for what I got. I like the containers. They were shipped in. If they keep in touch with you, you get your emails, you get your confirmations. The customer service is just absolutely fantastic. Plan on buying probably about uh, four more of these minimum. And it just came so quick. It came right when they said it would come. Thanks for supplying all this stuff for us because I think we're all going to be needing it in a very short time. Join over 50,000 Americans who have trusted food for patriots. Go to GetSurvivalFood.com to learn more. That's GetSurvivalFood.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. You've talked about it for a while. Now it's time to get your family the emergency readiness pack it deserves. And there's one site to turn to, TopPackGear.com. From large to small, you'll find kits for every purpose, and all of them can be customized by you. TopPackGear.com offers the best pre-built packs the Internet has to offer. Assembled using only high-quality products vetted by pros and chosen for the best balance of quality and value. Prepare, endure, prevail with TopPackGear.com. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'm joined in the studio with Anthony Gucciardi. We have Dr. Group on the line, and Alex is going to be joining us in just a second. Uh, Dr. Group, you've probably heard us uh, talking in this last segment about the information war, about whether or not people are going to take control of their lives, take control of their health. What's your feeling on that? 
You know, I feel we've come a long way uh, considering the fact that more people are not getting the results that they want, especially in healthcare. And so they're going online and they're asking their doctors what they can do about their certain conditions and diseases. And their doctors are just you know, clueless. So I think that the information that everybody's putting out is definitely having a good effect on society and slowly but surely we're changing. But there's a major attack, as we know, Alex talks about it all the time. And we guys, we all talk about it, which is on our health care. I'm always about finding why things are happening, you know, and Tracing back, whether you look at GMOs, you look at the fluoride in the water, you look at the psychological warfare that's going on, you look at the electromagnetic frequencies with the cell phones, I mean, the parasites that they're spraying, the toxins in the air, the food, the water, the beverages. Why is all that happening? I mean, why is this big conspiracy by the globalists going on? And it all traced back, if you look at the root cause of all of it is to destroy the mind and destroy the body. The only opposition to the agendas that are going on right now is a healthy person, somebody who can think properly, somebody who's not stressed out all the time, somebody who's healthy that has energy levels that are high, somebody who's not sick or somebody who's not relying on the doctor. So what I've done is taken every single mentally abusing chemical out there or brain altering chemical, uh, found out where it's come, where it comes from, as well as every single substance that causes disease out there and traced it all back. So one of the solutions is when people take the step to learn about all these things in their environment, whether it's coming in, wherever it's coming into their body from, and make changes in their life. I mean, because the stronger our mental capacity is, the stronger our body is, that's what they're really, really scared of. Because every single, if you look at the spoke and hub model, and you have a body in the hub, a perfect healthy body that can think and that can function. And then you look at all the spikes or or all the spokes uh, around it and fluoride is coming at you from one spoke and chemtrails are coming at you from another and the chemicals and heavy metals are all coming at you. Well, it's designed to lower your IQ. Uh, It's designed to make you not be able to think. And but people are realizing this though, aren't they? On On a really serious basis. I mean, Looking at some of the key articles today, the city officials are now saying, hey, yeah, we do actually need to get this out of the water supply as top journals are coinciding with this, saying it is bad. So the key thing is we can take our health into our own hands and succeed. But on a global level, people are waking up to this because it's so in your face and so evil. I mean, don't you find that as well? Absolutely. I mean, I I do find that. And even some congressmen and senators and stuff are contacting us wanting to know more about more information about fluoride or more information about some of these other things. But so let's say you have all these chemicals that they're using in this psychological warfare. I mean, with that 17 year old girl, you know, the mom and then having doctors do private conversations that ties into the whole creation of the psychological warfare and the psychotropic drugs, which you talked about earlier, of having children diagnosed with some form of mental illness from the time they're young. From the time there's five year olds that are committing suicide because of psychotropic drugs right now. They're setting this up to where if they ask these young children, do you have any depression? Do you have any anxiety or anything like that? They can be labeled with a mental illness from the time that they're at an early age. If you're labeled as a mental illness, the government automatically has control over you. They can throw you in jail, they can throw you in a mental institution, they can do whatever they want with you. Not only that, but you factor in the drugs that they're giving these children uh, that contain fluoride derivatives, that uh, cause suicidal tendencies, that cause low IQs, all this stuff is legal to do because they don't even need a diagnosis. How are you, there's no scientific testing through the blood or any type of MRI or any machine that can say, oh, this person has a mental illness. They just say, oh, you're biting your fingernails too much, you must have a mental illness. Or now you can leave a psychiatrist's office and not even be diagnosed with anything and the psychiatrist 
can label you with a mental illness because you left without receiving care, which means you must be mentally ill from exactly. going there. We're gonna take a break, Dr. Group. We're gonna be right back. That's what they're doing to gun owners. They All they have to do is assert that you're mentally ill. And of course, that's the definition. How do you define mentally ill? How do you define a felony? We're we'll be right march. back.